Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to create virtual network subnet virtual network pairing on Azure. Azure virtual network also known as VNet is the fundamental building block for the private networks in Azure. A subnet has a range of IP addresses in the virtual network. Virtual network pairing allows the user to seamlessly connect two or more virtual networks in Azure. First log in the Azure portal. In the region, select the region you want. Now I'm going to create a virtual network. Click create. Now I am going to create a new resource group. Enter the name as testing1. Enter the name as virtual network1. Enter the region as South India. Next. Here I am going to add subnet. Enter the subnet name default to enter the subnet address range 10.0.1.0 24 click add here we have two subnets next click next click review and create The validation has been passed. Click create. Now the deployment is in progress. Now the deployment is complete. Go to resource. Subnets. We have created a virtual network with two subnets. Now I am going to create another virtual network. Click create. In the same resource group testing one, I am going to create another virtual network. Name it as virtual network 2. Region as South India. Click next. Now I am going to add another subnet for this virtual network. Subnet name as default1. Enter the subnet address range. Click add. Once all the configuration completed, click create. The deployment is completed. Now the next step is I am going to create a virtual machine for one virtual network. Go to virtual machine. Click create. Enter the resource group as testing1. Enter the virtual machine name Ubuntu. Region as South India. Image Ubuntu server. The default size of the virtual machine. Now the next step is authentication type. Now I am going to click password. Enter the username. 1 to 1. Enter the password. Now click next. 
click next here I am going to select virtual network 1 with the default subnet I am going to create a virtual machine in this virtual machine I have given public IP address to access select the inbound ports as SSH click next for management click next next review and create the validation has been passed click create now the virtual machine have been created go to resource now I am going to create another virtual machine click create enter the resource group as testing one virtual machine as one to one leave it as default region and select the region select the image I have selected Ubuntu server select the size in the authentication type select password for this virtual machine now I am going to name it as Ubuntu 2 enter the password now click next leave it as default click next for networking in the virtual network select virtual network 1 in the subnet for previous I have selected this default subnet now I am going to select default 2 subnet and I am not going to give access public IP address select none click next for management click next next review and create click create the deployment is in progress now the deployment is completed go to resource here we have no public IP address now the next step is go to third party software like mobile extreme now go to virtual machine 1 using public IP address I am going to login through SSH now I am going to login through SSH in the first virtual machine SSH Ubuntu 1 at enter the public IP address it's working now I am going to ping from this first virtual machine to another virtual machine open the Azure portal this is the another subnet which has only private IP address copy this go to mobile extreme S now try to ping from this virtual machine to another virtual machine it's working here we can understand that two subnets in the same virtual network can communicate with each other but subnets in different virtual network cannot communicate with each other by default but we can create vnet pairing connection to enable subnets in different virtual network to communicate with each other so now go to microsoft azure portal now i'm going to create a virtual machine for another virtual network create select the resource group as testing one virtual machine name ubuntu 3 the same as default region and image and the size is default select the authentication type as password 
enter the username as ubuntu3 password click next click next for networking in here we have to change virtual network to and I'm going to give subnet as default one and I'm going to remove public IP address click next for management click leave it as default click next click next next review and create click create the validation has been passed the deployment is in progress now the deployment is completed go to resource now copy the private IP address go to mobile extreme now I am going to ping the private IP address from one virtual network to another virtual network so it will not ping as I mentioned earlier we have to give bnet pairing now I am going to create bnet pairing go to virtual network select the virtual network in here select pairings click add name it as test leave it as default remote virtual network as test1 now select the another virtual network which you need to connect after selecting all click add now the virtual network pairing is successfully added now we can connect from now go to mobile extreme now I have logged in in first virtual machine in first virtual network so now I am going to ping to another virtual machine in another virtual network ping enter the private IP address 10.1.1.4 now it's pinging now I am going to log in from this public IP address to the private IP address using pairing connection SSH enter the password it's successfully working as you can see this is the private IP address now I am going to ping from this private IP address to the another private IP address in the previous virtual machine ping this is the first virtual machine we have created copy the private IP address 10.0.0.4 it's working with this in this tutorial we have seen how to create virtual network subnets and virtual network pairing thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel to learn more tutorials visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com